The textile industry in Leicester has been under investigation. They don't like being watched. Our cameras aren't welcome round here. Last summer, there were claims some textile workers in Leicester were being paid as little as £3.50 an hour for retailers who buy clothes from the factories it was damaging. The glamorous image of Boohoo was tarnished by the claims, so the company launched a review. Earlier this year, they cut ties with several Leicester factories and published a list of suppliers they were still happy to use. We've now been told by a worker at one of the factories on the approved list that she's still not being paid enough. She showed us her pay slips, which on the face of it look fine. They state the number of hours she worked and that she was paid the minimum wage. But attached to each one is a handwritten note with a number. That's the amount she has to withdraw in cash and give back to her bosses. The amounts aren't small. She has to repay hundreds each month. We're not showing the numbers on the pay slips as they could identify her, and she and her husband are worried about the consequences of speaking out. We've revoiced their words. What explanation did they give for asking for the money back? He said, you know, I can't give you minimum wage. I can't afford to pay you minimum wage because prices are very low in our product. So how, how much did you use to get paid? 550. And it was after Boohoo came, told them they had to pay minimum wage, that they started all of this. Yeah. It's very stressing. You can't even sleep when you keep thinking that they're taking so much money back from you. What's happening to them is going on in spite of a year-long investigation in Leicester by multiple government agencies who've inspected almost 300 factories. After such a lengthy investigation by so many agencies and the brands themselves, how is it still happening? We really need people to, to kind of reach out through one of the confidential routes to just help us understand if we've still got those sorts of problems going on, because that's not acceptable. I think people are perhaps genuinely worried that by sharing information, um, the factory they work in will be sh somehow kind of shut down the next day. But at the local food bank, they hear from factory workers who say they're still being exploited. There are methods in place where they have to repay that money back to the employer. Uh, where they've been given multiple workers' cards so that not all their hours appear on their payslips. So it's, uh, we know that there's the, the audit approach, the enforcement approach, it hasn't, it hasn't given us any sort of results in terms of identifying evidence of slavery because factory owners are getting really creative and innovative in how they deal with that and how they hide it. But within the textile industry, many believe cheap, fast fashion is to blame for driving down prices. A spokesperson for Boohoo said, we continually monitor our suppliers and have updated the list twice since initial publication, removing some suppliers who failed to demonstrate the high standards required. We require all of our suppliers to display the details of our UK whistleblower helpline and we ensure that every concern raised is thoroughly investigated. Everyone involved agrees change in Leicester is a work in progress. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Leicester.